What's the reverse is here. Mastertronic. For those of you who've been following the channel, you know I've been running the Alcatronic to keep the alkalinity stable, as well as the Dosetronic in the back to kind of help me dose the calc wassers as well as the two parts. So more than a few times now, the Alcatronic has saved my tank from crazy elk swings. Uh, for example, sometimes I was like adjusting dosing, thinking that I did the numbers right, but I was actually wrong. Other times it could be the dosing tube that got plugged up uh, and elk started dropping. Alcatronic screamed at me. I looked at it and was like, oh boy, and I fixed the problem. Before I got the Alcatronic, I was doing maybe alkalinity testing once a week and usually between a week sometimes your alkalinity already fluctuated quite a bit already so ever since i got the alkatronic the alkalinity has been rock steady so that unit right there really sold me on automatic water testing whenever possible but when i hear that the focustronic is coming out with another auto tester that tests all the stuff that the alkatronic is not testing uh, namely the calcium magnesium phosphate nitrate i am just simply over the moon because i know how reliable and how awesome alkatronic is i have really high hopes of the mastertronic Uh, keep door closed when attended. Be careful of sharp needles. Sharp needles? Whoa, there it is. We have not done a sniff test in a while. Let's do this. A lot of electronics. Yeah, it smells like computer parts and probably should not have done that when the sticker said to like install in a well ventilated area. This is a big boy. It's almost uh, twice the size of the electronic. It's comparable to my five gallon jug that I use to dose uh, calc wassers. Now the question now is where do I want to put this guy? So along with the main unit here, we also got a lot of these vials. And each of these vials comes with a magnetic stirrer inside as well. It also comes with this cute little graduated cylinder. Look, I'm completing the collections. These came with the uh, Alcatronic. It looks like we got two micro filters here. We got the needle back here. And it looks like we got some uh, syringe here as well. All right, mounts we're not gonna use for now. Uh, later on, I think I may actually get a cabinet to keep all the stuff organized. Right now, it's kind of like a rat's nest. Two weeks later. I am impressed. <gasps> Leon apparently is too because I spent less time doing water testing in the morning now. The experience is kind of like what I felt with Alcatronic. Mastertronic does something really similar except it is for calcium, magnesium, nitrate, phosphate, and something that they call the OLI. On top of that, they also auto test alkalinity. You may be asking, if I have the Mastertronic, why would I get the Alcatronic? Aren't they just redundant? I had the exact same question as you, but the answer is this. With the Mastertronic, you're kind of limited to how many alkalinity tests you could do before you have to replace reagent bottle. Because remember, with the Mastertronic, you're using little vials for reagent. Versus with the Alcatronic, I could use as large of a container as I want for the reagent. This container right here lasts me almost two or three months, and I'm doing alkalinity tests for maybe like three or four times each day. So this lasts me a long time. And with the added benefits that anything I do here can go right back into the tank, meaning I do not have a wastewater container for the Alcatronic, and that's fantastic. So from a pure usability standpoint, because I want to constantly be testing my alkalinity multiple times a day, I definitely appreciate the fact that I can use, uh, oh boy. Because I want to test my alkalinity multiple times a day, I don't want to frequently be topping off my uh, reagent vials. Alcatronic still makes sense if I want to keep a close eyes on my alkalinity. Now, if I don't need to do multiple tests, oh my God, what the hell? heck is going on here <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> yeah, i was saying that now if you don't need to do multiple alcatron uh, i can't even speak right now look at this now what i was trying to say is that if you do not need to do alkalinity testing multiple times a day massatronic totally fine uh you just do maybe like three or four alkalinity testing one, uh, week I lost my chain of thought. The next morning. There are certain things I really love and there are certain things that I wish to update down the road. But let's go dive into it and see the pros and cons. The first week I was using the BLS one gallon jug that's similar to that. Uh, it's lasting me for about a week before I have to dump it out and that's a little bit too frequent for me. That's why I got these five gallon uh, jug that I use for calc wassers. And this is gonna last me a couple weeks before I have to empty these guys out. And I can probably do it at the same interval as I have to change out the reagents. And since we're here, let me perform a test first. Uh, so you can hear the noise level. For the most part, this unit is pretty quiet. One thing I wish to kind of look into, it's uh, some way to keep the door wide open. And I have the same issue with the Alcatronic. I find myself having to find something to wedge the door open. Uh, otherwise it's gonna kind of like slide close. Maybe it has to do with the slants of where it's sitting, but that would be a nice little feature. So I talk, let's go ahead and um, get a test going. I'm interested in my nitrate actually. 
We'll go for extra measurements. Alright, test started. Here we got the stepper motor going off. Alright, now we're getting the fun parts. The Mastertronics has picked the proper vial. And now it's uh, stirring the reagent to make sure that it is properly mixed up. It's kind of like you're shaking the reagent bottle before using them. I was talking to Reef dudes and asking for any tips for in terms of installation. And he was like, yeah, the first time around, he forgot to put that little pill inside here. And that caused fluctuation in terms of the uh, results. One safety feature I really like of the Mastertronic is that they do have a leak detector uh, down here as well. So if there's uh, any leaks, it'll shut the units off and let me know. In terms of the downside of the Mastertronic, if I have to nitpick it, is that Yes, you are limited by how much of this reagent that it can hold. Meaning that maybe once a month, for every other month, I'll need to kind of reload some of these reagents, which uh, it's more maintenance for the Alcatronic. Alcatronic, you can just put, put like a big bottle of reagent and just kind of set it and forget it but not the case for Massatronic. However, Massatronic also tests a bunch of different uh, parameters, so <laughs> it's, it's already doing a lot of amazing things. Depending on the type of uh, test you're running, sometimes it pulls reagent two times or even three times, so it's not as quick and simple as the Alcatronic, but you do get the option to test all kinds of different parameters. In fact, the uh, Massatronic also tests the alkalinity as well using um, one of the standard reagents out there versus their own mix. This way you can kind of cross check to make sure that your um, alkalinity is on point. Because I really trust the Alcatronic, uh, I did not opt to use the alkalinity testing for my Stratronic. Uh, so in that sense, I do have two open slots for reagents. And the great things about Mastertronic is that if you do not use uh, those two slots, you can assign those two slots for other reagents. Meaning that, say if uh, magnesium, just using a random example, so magnesium only needs two vials, and um, you got two empty slots, you can assign magnesium reagent to those two empty slots as well. This way the reagent can last a little bit longer. And of course, because all these steps are softwares, right? The hardware is all set. They just need software to kind of drive what kind of test does what. In the future, Jonas and Eric, they may decide that, hey, we want to make available, maybe testing for like potassium, whatever other elements that can use a liquid reagent to test for um, and to open up all those different possibilities, which will be super exciting. One interesting thing to note is that Eric did mention that they do plan to start pushing out their own reagent, uh, hopefully at a cheaper cost, but more importantly, we can get everything in one place versus trying to hunt down individual packs. My boss is here, I guess uh, that's it for today. We'll continue this video later. You get the idea. I feel like right now we finally have enough data to really give a nice first impression. So let's go ahead and get into the Mastertronic apps. Go to the dashboard, we'll wait for the values to load. Give it a second, and here we go. We got graph up top, and then we got a overview, a snapshot of the tank. And the first graph is showing the big three, the alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium, as well as the pH. Uh, second graph shows the nutrient, which is the nitrate and phosphates. And later on, once they come out with a new lights, this will show the uh, solotronic as well. A little background on myself, I am a UI UX designer. I've done design for website, mobile apps, stuff like that. So I'm a little bit more uh, critical in terms of uh, user interface. So when I see the graphs up top, I understand that they only want to represent the trend. The actual value may not matter as much on the graph itself. Looking at the graph up top, I feel like it would be really nice if in the future the app will allow the user to identify um, the optimal level of like Y minimum and Y maximum. So for example, look at the pH right here. It looks like a crazy swing right now, right? But if we look at pH, it's actually uh, really, really stable. Just that they took the largest number of pH I have and the lowest number of pH I, I have and put them as the Y maximum, Y minimum. So I feel like if the user can identify the Y minimum, Y maximum for certain parameters, and I feel like the trend line may be a lot more representative of how stable that particular value is. And I think that is a goal of this graph to, to see um, stability or if something's out of whack. So that's a little tangent, but let's take a little closer dive. Uh, right now, alkalinity is still being controlled by Algotronic, but we can go in and take a look. So this is essentially the same thing as the Algotronic app. Uh, when you go into history, right in front of you, you see how, I kept claiming how stable the Algotronic helped me make the tank, and here it is. You can see the uh, alkalinity as well as the pH. Let's look at some fun stuff. We'll do calcium first. Uh, if you look at table history, 
you see that the test is pretty repeatable and the value makes sense. The value being used right here is actually milligram over liter. I know in the US we use PPM and there's a small conversion formula down here. And I believe that in the future, they will include the ability to switch over to PPM. I'm one of those weird Americans. I'm used to seeing PPM. So it'd be great to see PPM here as well. Uh, coming down here, we got schedule for calcium, magnesium, as well as the OLI value that they uh, created. I have it on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And further down, you see the optimal range that you set for this particular parameters. Extra mode, automatic mode, and auto check mode simply means that if the value is out of whack, do they do a retest again? And if the value is confirmed, you want those tronic to do certain things based on those values. Um, at the moment, I have them all off. I want to make sure everything's 100% solid first before I automate everything. And coming down at the bottom, you can assign different brands of reagent to this test parameters. Right now, I think for the most part, it's one-to-one, -one, meaning each of these parameters works with one certain brand. But this may change down the road, especially, again, if Focus Tronic comes out with their own house brand of uh, testing reagent. And down here, it shows how much reagent is left in each of the individual vial, which is really important. And I do wish that somewhere on the dashboard, it would show me how many tests I got left. Uh, this way I know to kind of pre-order stuff before I run out. I'm sure they're working on something like this, but at the moment, and this app's uh, first launch, it is not there. So we look at calcium, let's take a look at the uh, magnesium. Magnesium is pretty similar to calcium and my magnesium is sky high in this tank. I'm slowly waiting for it to come back down. Uh, so not too much to talk about here, except for the fact that magnesium takes three bottles, three slides. Now we'll go to nitrate and phosphate. These values may be a little bit more in flux simply because I have been feeding heavy. I've been dosing nitrate, dosing phosphate. So it kind of jumps around a little bit. And um, this is where I really appreciate the Mastertronic. Because if you remember, when I was fighting dinoflagellate last month, I was doing nitrate tests and phosphate tests almost every single day. So this does it for me every other day. And I can kind of see like how things are affecting the tank and some of the things will be surprised. For the most part, I have hand over nitrate and phosphate tests to the Massatronic. I have not really manually test my nitrate and phosphate in two weeks now. As you can see, yesterday I did a really, really heavy, heavy feeding of uh, frozen food and dose some phosphate. And as you can see, the phosphate level crept up. Same deal down here. We see the vials. It looks like phosphate kit is actually gonna last me quite a long time. After three weeks, I just used a tiny bit. Jonas, the designer of Massatronic, really kindly uh, did a little chart here showing all the test kit that Massatronic used currently and how many tests that it can perform with each of the refills. And one tip here is that you can buy the refill of the test kit, not the actual test kit, so that it's a lot cheaper than buying the actual test kit uh, each time. Eric mentioned that it may be nice to buy the actual test kit the first time around, just so you can manually test in case something is kind of off with the Mastertronic. But for me, I just went straight for the refill kit and no problem at all, and we saved some money. All right, the last interesting things to look at is the OLI. OLI is one of those values that um, Focustronic created themselves, basically test for the clarity of your tank water. Uh, so the use case is that if the OLI went up, that means your water gets a little discolored and if you're running carbon, maybe time to swap out your carbon, which I thought is interesting. Three days later. All right guys, so by now I have run the Mastertronic for three weeks and I am ready to give you my assessment in terms of the first hands-on. In terms of the hardware and software, no shoot at all. For the last three weeks, it has just been smooth selling. It's uh, shooting me the alerts of the test results as expected, and it's been performing really reliable tests. I feel much more informed and comfortable in terms of my tank's parameters. I know that you can look at the tank, look at the corals, and kind of get a sense of like how they're doing, and of course, you can always pull out a manual tester. There's something to be said about just pulling up your phone and just pop the apple pen, you see your tank's parameters right there. If you have any questions, Questions, just do run a test right there and you see the value right off the bat in real time. To me, this whole idea is amazing and the technology has come a long way. So once again, if I'm not clear, there's no qualm with me in terms of the hardware and software of the Mastertronic, Dostronic, Alcatronic. They're fantastic pieces of hardware and software and really make at least my experience with keeping a reef much more enjoyable. I understand that automatic water testing is not for everybody, uh, whether it's your concept, because some people think that, okay, all aspects of reef keeping 
should be part of the hobby, including water tests. For me, I like to focus more on the livestock and keeping things as simple, meaning as little input from me as possible. So I can focus more on the livestock aspect of reef keeping. Now, as great as the Mastertronic is, the elephant in the room is that it is not cheap. At the moment, it comes in at $1,299 USD. And obviously, whether that is considered expensive or not depends on your financial situation. I'll be upfront with you guys. I have a relationship with Eric that goes two or three years back once they first launched Focus One in Hong Kong. I visited Eric in their Hong Kong office and we have kept in touch ever since. So this time around, when Focustronic is ready to ship out the Mastertronic, I was on Eric's shortlist to be able to send one of the earlier models. If I did not have that coming though, without actually testing the product, I probably would not drop $1,300 on a auto tester that tests parameters that I may not need to keep as tight a watch on. Alcatronic for me would be a different story because alkalinity swing really kills and things change so fast. So if I need to drop $1,300 for a auto tester that tests alkalinity reliably, I would do it, especially after trying out Alcatronic and see how reliable it is. But Again, for Massatronic testing the other elements, it is really nice to have, but not quite as essential in my book based on my financial situation. With that said though, if you have the funding, if you don't like to do water tests, if you like to see the trends of your tank uh, as often as you like actually, and if you want the ability to just tap a button and you get a result of your tank right away, Massatronic may be for you. This is a really nice piece of equipment. So I did a little calculation on how much the running cost is gonna be, at least for me. It's kind of hard to say what it is for you because the number of tests you perform is gonna be different. For me, to load up the Mastertronic with reagents without the alkalinity test was $100. And some of these refill packs, remember, I have to buy two of them in order to fill one of these uh, 20 milliliter vials. And I believe this initial set is gonna last me at least two months with half the test, I can probably pull it to three or even four months before I have to refill certain ones of them. But again, this number is gonna change based on how often you test and what you test. I think as I start seeing the trend, I may start stretching out some of the tests. For example, calcium, magnesium, I probably don't need to test them three times a week. I can probably stretch them out a little bit, maybe just test it once a week. And that is kind of the beauty of the Massatronic as well. Massatronic, for the most part, gives you full control of how often you would like to test. Of course, at the moment, I'm only three weeks in in using the Massatronic, so this is still a first-hand impression. As I get more experience with it, I'll definitely share it with you guys. I hope this video has been informative and helpful. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. If I can answer, somebody else will. Otherwise, I'll see you next Sunday at 12.30 p.m. sharp. Bye. Hey, mom knows how to appreciate the fish tank now. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs>